Okay, good morning. Well, hello, and welcome to a new video. So today, I have a package to open. Uh, just to prove that I really have a package. Anyway, uh, I'm going to review the Polo Marshall Easy Table. It's like a table for like newborn photography. It has wheels and, um, okay, a vibration. <laughs> it should have vibration. Okay, here we go. I have been using the Paloma Shell Classic Stand during newborn sessions. Uh, it's great. I'm sitting on a yoga ball. I can turn it around. It's like this metal circle with a beanbag inside. I have a video about that one where I unbox it. I've been using it happily for many years. But now, uh, same company approached me <laughs> that they have this new product and they were wondering if I would want to uh, review it. So yeah, I said, yeah, go for it. Send me one and I'll test it. And I'll be honest and fair. Oh. It says you just open it up. No tools needed, so that's great. Um, there's a pillow. There's a bowl here. And uh, oh, wow, great. There's some new posing beans. You can never have too many posing beans. There's like a anti-slippery mat. Okay, so here we go. Moment of truth. You can't see anything. I'm going to put you more down. I'm really curious about the vibration pad because I did have a vibration pad before that you placed really underneath your beanbag, but you couldn't really feel it that well when it was on, so I pretty much uh, never used that one. Um, so here we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. But this is great if you travel to clients' homes because you don't have to bring like a whole beanbag. Do you remember the video with the, the photographer who is, was working from a wheelchair? Uh, she had a table. Oh, there you go. Uh, yeah, so she was working with the table with a hole here. Because there is a hole here, like a din. Um, okay, now it should lock into place. I hear some clicks. That's always good. Now there is a yeah, the top here. Oh, wait, and you can change the angle. Here you can adjust how angled you want it to be, how steep, how okay, I'm just gonna place it in the middle somewhere. It's actually quite big. Okay, let's put it like this for now, and then you fold this one around it. And there's like uh, um, the sticky material, Velcro. It's a little bit loose because, of course, I didn't put it on the far further away one. I put it in the middle. This is great because you can wipe it clean. I think it's like how they call it fancy vegan leather. <laughs> okay, um, which oh, it's very light. You can just like lift it up easily. Now it doesn't have wheels, and so you can just like stick the wheels in, and then you can of course like turn it. Here I adjust something. If you don't want the din, you just place this little pillow in. And then it's like a flat surface, but I quite like usually posing. Oh, this is quite hard then for the baby. I think the bowl is also cute when you have like the black backdrop and then the hands of the parents like around the baby because the baby's already really curled up inside really nicely. Okay, so the beans are a gift, so that's great. Oop, there you go. So we got two more. Posting beans. So here we have something that does not fit in my power socket. Outlet thingy. Oh, here, that one does. So, okay, so I don't need this part. There's some instructions. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Oh, yeah. The table's vibrating a little bit. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna turn it off. Do I want wheels underneath? Yes, probably. So, I should have maybe done that in the first place. But, yeah, you can put tons of stuff on the side, so that's great. You can put your posing beans, pillow thingies there. Okay, so these are like the, the parts that you can put in if you don't want the wheels. Oh yeah, there's like a break on the wheels. So, that's great. Do I need a click? Okay, I think that's it. Okay. Okay. Are you sitting here? Perfect. Okay, this is a good angle. 
Well, not for you, looking at my butt. But, good angle to end. The bowl has a anti-slippery material as well. So it's gray. Fits perfectly. So here is the Paloma Shell Classic Stand. Lots of layers, big beanbag underneath. It's like this metal frame. Um, let me see if I can get it through that door without assembling, disem disassembling it. if they would have provided clips as well that actually like match this system really well but I mean the clips that I have they work so today I have another newborn session um, the heater's on so uh, and it's a boy who's coming in and um, he's like 18 days old but he was born two weeks or a little bit like two and a half weeks before his due date so I don't know how big he will be <laughs> but anyway they have chosen um, creamy white as far as colors i'm going to use the table uh, which will be like uh, vibrating a little bit and uh, with the heater on and the baby shisher like coming in from that side and here behind me you can see my new bench which is also a bed which i want to use for my christmas minis um so yeah great i have a light here soft box with a, a speed light inside and i might want to put the flocati on here as well on the beanbag um, because I have like a little din in here and I can flatten the back part so I have like a flat focari with a little din so that's perfect because they've chosen creamy whites and white so we're gonna go for the dark wood but there's like a white blanket inside and this is all very light and bright so uh, yeah just waiting for them to come
we finished and it was such an adorable little boy um, he was uh, his birth weight was already like around four kilos so he's not like super small okay so here we go I just photographed another newborn session here on the uh, table and I want to share with you uh, my findings so far so here it is I'm just gonna get it over here at the table I did receive a message after I started using this one and posting it on Instagram that I had to be very careful with this table because there were uh, messages on the internet um, of people who experienced something terrible with this table like it collapsed with a baby on it um, so that scared me because of course that's like your worst nightmare when you're photographing babies um, the safety of the baby is your main priority, the comfort of the baby. So, I mean, that would be horrible, absolutely horrible. So I looked up the website of this lady who posted quite a lot of information on what happened with her and her table and during that session and how the company responded to her, which was not very like professional, but I mean, it was all out in the open, so the way maybe the whole situation was handled was not the most professional. But um, I understand her point of view where she was uh, so concerned uh, and she wanted to warn other photographers as well and she wanted the company to take it very serious um, because there was something wrong with the product and it was not something that she did wrong. And that was where there was some friction. But in the end, I think apologies were made and the most important thing is, is that the product was adjusted. What happened to her was that the table collapsed because it's like a foldable, portable table. You can go to clients their home, you put it up, you set it up, and afterwards you um, fold it back and then take it with you. So, um, but it happened during her session while the baby was on there, the dad was there with his hands close to the baby. So baby wasn't harmed in any way, but it could have, been a lot worse but there was something wrong with her product it was the first type of the table that she had gotten since then they improved the design they changed it and that is the table I have here now so I'm just going to strip the table um, and I'm going to tell you what I like about the table what I don't particularly like about the table because I've done quite a lot of sessions now on the table um, maybe like 12 sessions or something um, so yeah Maybe first what I like. What I like, like, why am I so overexposed? One second. Sun is shining, so that's a good thing. So I'm not complaining there. So what I really like is the height of the table. It's perfect. I'm sitting on the yoga ball and it's perfect. Angled, like super for my back. Like I'm not getting any back pain. I can like sit at a table, like normal people would sit at a table. Um, while on the circular backdrop stand, it was kind of like in between my legs. So, I mean, I could not really wear like a dress in the studio, long skirt, whatever, because the beanbag would be in between my legs. So it would need it to be like wide enough. Now, if I, I mean, I'm wearing like these really cool flared corduroy pants, but if I would wear a dress, I could because I'm sitting with my legs underneath the table, even though I'm still, I don't know, keep my legs pretty wide apart. Anyway, so uh, I like this circle that's in the middle it really helps with posing I do use a pillow that I made myself very simple uh, I put it on the side of the circle let me put you down a little bit so you can actually see what I'm talking about so I do have a pillow here in the circle just to smoothen the edge because it's quite a I mean it's soft soft material but just to smoothen the edge with the bum up position they have the pillow underneath there but here, it actually fits really well with the legs going in between and then... Sometimes I do use one of those small beans that came with the table. Just to smoothen the, the edge there. But I mean, I do have like, how many backdrops do I have on there? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that smoothens it out as well. Um, what else do I love? I love the vibration part. Super awesome. It helps. Let me turn it on. There you go. Hear it? So it vibrates. It very suits the baby. It just awesome. It works. So that's great. 
Uh, I love, of course, that you can clamp on the backdrop everywhere on the sides. And like, I also love the material of the um, pillow because it's washable. So if babies have accidents and it goes through all your layers, you can wipe it clean. Here in the back, it has a Velcro as well. Um, not Velcro. Being on leather. I like the pockets on the side. I'll show you. You can put beans in there, which is great. Uh, I also like the wheels and that they have brakes, so you can use it as a standing table, but you can also move it around a little bit, which I did when I used, for example, the Flocati on there or the black backdrop with the hands of the dead. Well, you've just seen it, so you know what I'm talking about. What I also like is that you can adjust the angle of how steep you want the back to be. So maybe if you have like a backdrop with a pattern and it's just a little bit too steep going up, you can put it more down. I have it here on the second setting from the bottom. So not the middle one, but yeah. Okay, now comes the part that I, well, okay, first let's go to the tricky situation. Uh, let me explain what happened to the uh, lady. The older version didn't have the click here. This is like the safety bar kind of like that prevents the table from collapsing inwards. Like the sides can collapse inwards, but this safety bar kind of like pr protects it from happening. And it can move inwards if you press this little button here. So now that it is up, there's no way this bar can uh, go into itself. Here, these things, those were also an issue because um, they moved that way and then the table collapsed. Like now it cannot collapse because of the safety bar here. But you have to make sure it's all the way pressed down. Also, there are two holes in there. And I read something about like tire rib going through it. I don't know if that happened. What I did just to be sure is I opened a um, paper clip. I opened up a paper clip. I put it through both holes and then I twisted it back. So it's like an extra security, I think. So there's no way this can move further than this because it's attached here with my homemade um, paper clip, which I pulled through and then twisted. I don't think that's the way a lot of people do it. I don't know if there was something that came with the table to put through these little holes, but it's like an extra safety thing that you can do so that the table cannot collapse. So if of course you want the table to fold back, you would put it like this. Now it cannot go any further because of the twisted thing. And uh, to secure it during the session, it has to be all the way like this. But just like an extra, I put the paper clip there. I don't know if someone else has like a different idea. Okay, so what do I not really like about the table? It's maybe just the flimsiness. Is that a word? It's not like super thick, sturdy material. It's lightweight. It feels just a little bit flimsy. Okay, so yeah, but I think um, the reason why it is a little bit flimsy and uh, it's because they created this table uh, in a way that it was foldable and portable and people like photographers could take it to clients' homes and uh, if they would make it really like thick and sturdy and heavy, it would get maybe too heavy to lift and to take it with you to clients home so that would kind of like defeat the purpose do i think it's worth the price well maybe i'll leave that in the middle up to you to decide what you do how you spend your money but yes i am going to use this table more in the future because i like it and i'm not going to put it back and fold it up and uh, take it to homes it'll just be like this the table with the vibration a little din in the middle, good height, good for my back. Um, I like that the pockets on the side, everything. I secured the corners, like all four corners, you can actually do it with the paper clip. Make sure that the safety bar is clicked. Um, and then, I mean, it's a lightweight baby. You're not gonna put like a five year old on the table. Five year olds, I would not do that. I like it. Yeah, I think it's good. So I really enjoyed um, just trying out the table and I hope you enjoyed watching me use the table and now giving my opinion on the table. Um, 
up to you if it suits uh, whatever you want to use it for and if you have enough budget for it and if you like it but I thought I'd just share maybe it would be interesting to read in the comments what you use do you use like a circular backdrop stands do you use like a square one do you make did you make your own table do you use one of these tables so why why not we can learn from each other um and um yeah inspire each other and motivate each other so anyway i really hope you enjoyed this video please like subscribe leave comments love reading your comments have a lovely day wherever you are and um well bye bye <laughs>